So it's a Monday morning. I've spent most of the day cooking. And if you know me, that is a very big surprise. But I have a bit of work to do today. Two clients' videos. One is just a regular edit. The other has a bit of motion graphics to it. So yeah, from now, I will just lock in and get to work. Okay, so I haven't picked up the camera in a while. The last clip you saw would have been from Monday. It's currently Wednesday at 9.22 a.m. And today I have two clients' projects I need to get to. One is a video edit and the other, which is more excitingly 3D work. I always am happy when I get to do 3D stuff so that is good i'm currently going to start with doing the 3d the 3d project it's texture baking i'm trying to optimize a model for web so um if you use blender you'd know the thing called the shader editor and in the shader editor you can make procedural materials there the thing is the procedural materials can't be used in other engines you can't use them outside of blender basically so you need to bake them down into image textures to be able to use them on web and to be able to use them in and to be able to use them in game engines yeah game engines so that's what i'm currently doing later on in the video i can also like record my screen and show you basically how how this is done but that's what i'm going to start with today just realized that I'm not very good at this vlogging thing. I I think I just need to like do it more. I also need to find a style that would work for me to like obviously be able to to do it. Well yeah I think repetition is is good. Repetition has always been something that has worked for me when I'm starting out new things. So I basically just need to like work on work on it and do do more of it to be able to like get used to it yeah it's thursday morning it's 9 or 2 a.m i have things to do one is for a family member um my uncle is an artist so he has like some art pieces that i took pictures of yesterday so i just need to edit them photoshop and send them to send them to him so I have to, I have to do that. I also, I'm trying to make content for Instagram and TikTok. So yeah, that's what I have to do today. I also think I want to, I should talk about the reason why I'm trying to like vlog. I'm trying to vlog my my days trying to document stuff so so i'm trying to become a full-time content creator trying to make content relating to blender and 3d work and almost make it like a full-time thing where i can also have, get client work but basically my main source of income would be making content around 3d blender 
uh, my day to day with work and things like that. So that's basically why I'm documenting it. The the plan also is to be able to get more clients through this channel and the way I think I'm going to do it is to make more 3D stuff and document the process. So um, initially what I would do is to, in the background, make 3D work. And when it's done, I make a video, post it, and that's it. There's nothing else that kind of like comes with it. So I think for me to be able to make more content, I should try to document the process and have that be part of like the rollout and I think it would also allow me to make a lot more stuff because I don't feel like I am making I'm making a lot of things now so yeah that's that's basically why I'm doing this I, I felt like I need to like share the reason why I started like vlogging so yeah I would I'll just get back to work and I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on like what you're doing, are you into 3D, what you're currently working on. If you have any questions on Blender, also leave them in the comment section. I would be very happy to answer any of those questions. Okay, so if you made it to this part of the video, thank you very much. I'm just going to quickly show you how texture baking works in Blender. And this would be the outro to, to the vlog. Here in Blender, we have this procedural lemon skin material. So the first thing we're going to do is split our screen. Split our screen, go into <coughs> the shader editor and we can see the procedural material. So I'm just going to bake in one texture, which is the base color, the, uh, the base color of the lemon texture. So next thing we are going to do is split our screen again and open the UV editor tab and we are going to UV unwrap this. So you can add seams to this or you can also use the smart UV project. So make sure everything selected by hitting A you to uh, to bring up the uv mapping menu click on smart uv project this is where you don't want to add seams to to this so smart uv project make sure your island margin is 2.001 i find that this works the best and every other thing is at like default default settings and hits okay so we have the the thing uv unwrapped now and the next thing we are to do is to shift A in the shader editor and add an image texture. And once we add an image texture, we create new, we name it base color, just name it anything you would, you would like. Hit okay. You can also increase the, the resolution of the image texture. Hit okay. And go into the render properties and switch it from ev to cycles and if you have a gpu you can also switch it to gpu computes so uh with uv unwrapped this added an image texture change it from ev to cycles and the reason we're changing from ev to cycles is because cycles does not support texture baking but um but because ev does not support texture baking i beg your pardon but cycles does so we scroll down to bake click the click the arrow button to bring it down and change it from combined to diffuse because we're we're baking the base color if we're baking something else maybe the normal roughness they are all provided there but for the base color is diffuse so turn off direct and indirect and change the margin margin size from 16 to something like 4 and the next thing we're going to do is to make sure the object is selected in the viewports 
the image texture is selected in the shader editor and just go and hit bake and now we see that the bake is done if we have the the image pulled up in our in our uv editor we'll see it right away so this is the baked image texture the next thing we have to do which is very important we have to save the image somewhere on our computer so when we when we do that we make sure the image is saved somewhere on computer because if you close off blender and open it back up the image wouldn't be saved because it doesn't save with the blend file it's you have to save it somewhere on your computer so once we save that we can just plug the image texture directly into the base color and we have the image the image texture so you can do this for the normal you can also do this for the roughness channel and i think also the metallic i think the the metallic channel would be the, the glossy channel so yeah that's how to texture big so yeah that's how to texture big thank you so much for watching this video please give it a like comments and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching